No family wants to see their home catch fire, but during the holidays, it can be especially traumatic. Anything that happens like this right before the holidays, uh, we always want to make sure that we do our best to take care of them. Uh, to take care of the families as much as possible. CCFD Battalion Chief Daniel Valdez Jr. has seen this before. On Wednesday, his firefighters responded to a house fire started by a Christmas tree. According to the National Fire Prevention Agency, between 2015 and 2019, fire departments responded to an average of 160 fires a year, all sparking from Christmas trees. And we know a Christmas tree wouldn't be a Christmas tree without the lights. Just don't overdo them. With the light bulbs, you don't want to use too many lights on an extension cord. Uh, you don't want to have too many uh, extension cords plugged into one outlet. The Federal Emergency Management Agency recommends you also inspect your holiday lights before you put them up. Throw away any damaged light strands. Your choice of tree is also a factor. Many people prefer a natural Christmas tree, but a natural tree comes with risks. The uh, natural Christmas trees uh, are very flammable, especially as they start to dry out, so they always recommend that you keep the uh, tree hydrated. FEMA recommends that if you have a natural Christmas tree, water it every day. Also, be careful with candles and use battery-operated flameless candles if possible. And watch where you place your holiday decorations. According to FEMA, half of all decoration fires happen because they're placed too close to a heat source. In Corpus Christi, Greg Chandler, Chris 6 News.